They were expecting a big update on the push to move monumental sports and therefore the Caps and the Wizards to Virginia. If the plan goes through, a new arena could move from Capital One Arena to in, in downtown DC to Potomac Yards in Alexandria, Virginia. And that's where you find our, our Matt Gregory live this morning. And Matt, you know, the last time an NBA team moved from one state to another was 2013. New Jersey Nets moved to Brooklyn and then Governor Chris Christie said good riddance, goodbye. Not necessarily the case when it comes to, to this team and DC. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see Governor Glenn Youngkin here today with this big announcement, which wisdom is just less than three hours away, but they're already setting up. You can see tables and chairs been going in, Penske trucks coming in with some of the things to set up for the announcement today. But as of right now, everyone's pretty tight lipped publicly. I mean, Governor Glenn Youngkin's team says there'll be a big economic announcement made here at Potomac Yard today that will uh, show him join with Monumental Sports owner Ted Leonsis. Ted Leonsis team at Monumental Sports says, yes, he will be here for this big announcement, but that's about it. That's all they're saying. However, our sources are telling us today will be the announcement of a potential change in the home address for the Washington Wizards and the Washington Capitals. So this started on Monday. That's when we started hearing all sorts of things from our sources coming out of Northern Virginia. Virginia's major employment and investment project commission approved an incentives package, we're told, for monumental sports. It includes building a new arena near the Potomac Yard Metro stop area, and along with that, a whole mixed use commercial residential area and a smaller concert venue, all meant to entice the Wizards and the Caps to leave the district and go to Northern Virginia. Well, Tuesday, we got some more information. That was when our sources said there was this upcoming press conference we'll see today. The governor and Monumental's owner would both attend, and they could, at this particular announcement, announce the plans for Capitals and Wizards to move to a, this future arena. And as this happened, you sort of got the sense that the wheels were spinning in the District of Columbia. Tuesday evening, Mayor Bowser and the D.C. Council announced their own proposal to keep the Wizards and the Capitals in the district. In a press release, Mayor Bowser said they offered Monumental Sports $500 million for renovations and modernization of Capital One Arena and an extension of the ground lease until 2052. Now, the mayor and the council pointed out Capital One Arena is one of the main anchors economically for Chinatown Gallery Place, and Wizards and Caps, Caps games are essential to the economy of downtown D.C. The Caps and the Wizards need to stay in the District of Columbia. Uh, I know that we want them to stay in the District of Columbia. They generate almost daily economic activity, jobs, uh, vibrancy in our downtown. We've got to make that a priority. We should have been doing that for months. The um, mayor and I have been working with Monumental Sports and we gave them a very strong offer. Now you can see the tents are going to be are already here. You've got the tables, the chairs, the refreshments getting ready for this big announcement. It's going to be in a little less than three hours. Now, it does feel like the district's offer was a little bit of a day late and a dollar or millions of dollars short because Ted Leonsis and Monumental Sports asked the district several months ago for $600 million for renovations and modernization of the Capital One Arena. Now, to bring it some perspective, we were talking about this at five. Let's talk about it now. The economic impact of downtown D.C. It's about 24 percent of D.C. proper's total economy, right? And that part, downtown D.C., according to the last report from the Economic Bureau, that part's already lagging behind the rest of D.C. in terms of employment. It hasn't caught up to pre-pandemic levels uh, since you know, the reopenings have been going on downtown. And with this potential, we're talking, you know, three days a week during the season together, Caps and Wizards bring people to downtown DC. This would be a huge economic blow if the announcement today is, as we expect it to be, that the Wizards and Capitals will abandon the district for Northern Virginia. For now in Potomac Yard and Alexandra, I'm Matt Gregory. We'll be here throughout the morning to bring you the latest. All right, and Matt, to follow up on those economic numbers, you know, we talked about the Clippers opening a new facility in uh, the NBA next year expected to generate over $200 million annually and create 7,000 jobs. So this is very important to all the parties involved. Matt, thank you very much for that.